Yes, Ms. Moore. Wait, bless your worship. Worship, I'd like to mention uh, item seven. Yes. Your Lordship, uh, I'm representing the state here. Yes. And if you allow the, your Lordship uh, three weeks time to obtain the document file for you. Lordship, I guess enough time has been granted, Lordship. If this may be the last chance. What is the matter about? I'm seeking appointment on land ownership basis. Okay. No urgency. Mr. Moimchen, the learned senior government advocate is allowed three weeks' time to file affidavit in opposition. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Your Lordship. Yes. Your Lordship, I beg to mention item number 38 to, 20, 38 to 42. On behalf of K. Angami, kindly let the matter come up 30, after two 38 weeks. 38 to? 42. Uh. Klein, kindly let the matter come up after two weeks. Consent has been taken from the petitioners also. MS AIME makes a mention on behalf of Mr. K. Angami, the learned senior government advocate, and six a gentleman of the case after two weeks. The consent of the other side has been obtained. Prayer is allowed. Let's sit according. May I please allow you? Yes. May I be pleased to mention uh, hearing item number 34 and 35, Lord Chief. Yes. 34, 35, and 36. Lord Chief, if the matter come up, can come up after three weeks, Lord Chief. What is the other side? Okay. MS Livika, the learned government advocate. Six adjournment of the case after three weeks. Stop. The other side has no objection. Listed accordingly. Okay. Mr. Chief, I also beg to mention uh, orders in orders, item seventeen to item thirty three. Mr. Chief, uh, this better the this honourable court may not be in a position to take up your. What is the matter about? This uh, relates to the uh, petition who are appointed under SSA and praying for regularization and scale of pay, Mr. Chief. It's a similar matter. Uh, the similar matter has been taken up by this Lord Chief. But Lord different Chief. persons. Different persons. Different persons. I think. Uh, there's a, I think. Your uh, the vetting is coming today, Your Lordship. Uh, so I will be. You have sent the affidavit for vetting. Yes, Your Lordship. So they are they are bringing today, Your Lordship. So I may file it to, uh, today and uh, the copy can MS be furnished tomorrow. Livika, the learned government advocate, submits that the affidavit has been sent for the vetting of the department, and therefore six for two weeks two weeks time. To file the affidavit. Prayer is allowed. Listed up to two weeks. Okay. Much obliged. For motion, item number one. Mr. Tiba. Yes, my lord. You should have filed the application before the expiry of the time granted. Yes, earlier. Ah, I'm seeing that your time has expired. 
Yes. And only after the expiry of the time, you are coming. Earlier, uh, this code had actually granted you yes, my Lord. only after the expiry. Yes. That is what I'm seeing. Yes, my Lord. I think that was the leniency shown to you by this code. And now again, you are coming for six months. What to do? My Lord, uh, since it is a, we considered a petitioner case, it is a lengthy process to be followed. Ach. So I've received instruction that it is before the uh, main power regionalization committee. So it will, thereafter it will forward it to the cabinet. How many petitioners? How many petitioners? There are 19 petitioners. 19 petitioners. Yes. Why, why have you, why have you not annexed the main order? Why have you not annexed the main order? This court also wants to have a look at the main order. Yes, my Lord. I've stated only in para one. Ah, you have stated, but you have not annexed. Yes. Normally, actually, when you are seeking extension of that particular order, that order should have been annexed. Have you, uh, like, uh, got a copy of that order uh, with you? The first order. Ah, the first order. First have you order got a... is, I have not annexed, my lord. No, you have not annexed, not... but have you got a copy? That copy is not with me, my lord. Uh, yes, Mr. Subung. Yes, Lordship. Uh, it is for the second time. They are seeking for the ah. second time. And then, but and... for your good. Yes, Lordship. They are then... seeking extension for your good. They are... Pressing on the same reasons, Your Lordship. And then now it's been more than 11 months after the disposal of the earlier first petition, proceeding, that is a writ petition, Your Lordship. Um, it was disposed, the writ petition was disposed on 29, 5, 20, 23. And then now, as of now, it's been 11 months, Your Lordship. And then I understand that, yes. Uh, the, when was the writ petition disposed? 29, 5, 20, 23, Your 29, Lordship. 29, 5, 20, 23. Uh, so after the disposal, it is? Then months have been completed. Ten Lordship. months. Now it's going to be a year, year Your Lordship. Out of, out of the way, we are giving them some uh, accommodation. Yes, Lordship. Out of the way. Since Your Lordship, they are seeking for six months, Your Lordship. I pray that only four months may be granted, Your Lordship, with a strict direction. Lordship. Four months, six months, no difference. Only thing is that we give them the last chance. Yes, and Lordship, no further Lordship. extension. Yes, no Lordship. further extension. Within the six months, they should complete the process and they should consider your case for regularization. Yes, Lordship, I'm satisfied with that, Your Lordship. If that Out of the way, we are giving you because actually, in fact, we should not have entertained this petition because uh, you are actually filing this petition after the expiry of the time granted by the court. So we, this court uh, normally should not have entertained, <laughs> but out of the way, as a one time, as a one time. My Lord, we, uh, the state is trying the best to consider the petition. Don't, don't but, cite this order in other cases. Yeah. That they, after the expiry of the time we had uh, given you time, don't cite this order. Okay. This is for this particular case. Only. Okay. Let us see what is. Uh... Let's see. Heard, Mr. E. Tibapong, the learned government advocate for the applicant, and Mr. Subungwati Waling. Yes, Lord. Subungwati Waling, the learned government, uh, the learned advocate for the opposite party respondents. This application has been filed, seeking for extension of time to comply with the order dated 29-5-2023, passed by this court in WPC number 267-2022. Stop. By the said order. The writ petition was disposed.
with the direction to the state respondents to take necessary steps for regularization of the service of the petitioner as per the memorandum dated, as per the office memorandum dated 17-3-2015 within a period of three months. Stop. Since the state could not comply with the order dated 29-5-2023 within the time stipulated by this court. The IA number IA, the IA number 28-2024. My lord, it is 115. Yes, the IA, I'm sorry, I'm just with the, yes. The IA number, okay. The IA number 115 slash 2023 was filed by the applicant seeking extension, seeking extension for another period of three months to comply with the order dated 29-5-2023, which was granted by the court by the order dated 9-10-2023. Stop. It is the case of the applicant that thereafter another IA was filed. Another, another uh, the, the, the IA number 28 slash 2024 was filed seeking for further extension, but the same was withdrawn due to the error in the course title with liberty to file afresh. In the normal circumstances, the state applicant could not have filed the present application as the time granted by this court to comply with the order dated 29-5-2023 has lapsed. However, in the interest of justice, A last chance is granted to the state to comply with the order dated 29-5-2023, passed by the court in WPC 267-2022, within a period of six months from today. Stop. It is made clear that this is the last chance afforded to the state respondents to comply with the order dated 29-5-2023 and no further extension shall be granted. The IA accordingly stands this post. Okay. For motion from the supplementary course list, item number 43. Yes. Who is he? Yes, Mr. C.T. Jamir. Who is, where's Mr. C.T. Jamir?
Yes, ma'am. I hope you are not forgetting your keys. Yes, ma'am. Pardon? Unfortunately, we didn't receive the supplementary process today, so my oh. he has not been informed. Okay, okay. Okay, anyhow, we record your presence, issue notice. That's all we can do with this case. Okay. Madam Mr. Enzo, who's for the government? Learned counsel for the petitioner. The present petition has been filed. Seeking for a direction to sit and quash. The notification dated 12 March 2024, issued by the Commissioner and Secretary to the Government of Nagaland, by which the service of the petitioner as JS JSCO has been terminated with effect from 7 3 2024. Issue notice to the respondents returnable after four weeks. MS, since MS EIME appears for the state respondents, no formal notice need be issued. So the Learned counsel for the petitioner shall however serve the requisite copies of the writ petition to the learned state council within, within a period of three days from today. Okay. For admission, item number two and three. Yes. Uh, Lord Chief, I pray that this matter may come up after three weeks, as we are uh, we are uh, uh, we are about to file another repetition regarding the same issue, uh, a different cause of action is occurred. If a different cause of action has arisen, then you have to withdraw. <laughs> you cannot keep this repetition alive. Uh, no, Lord Chief. Uh, <laughs> okay. Of course. Uh, we we give them a short date uh, to enable them to receive the further instructions. I think that will be more appropriate. Though actually, if a new cause of action has arisen, in that case, uh, you will have to withdraw this and then uh, you will have to file a fresh application. That is the only recourse. We give them one week to receive instructions. Okay. <laughs> uh, your good name, ma'am? Asaruta. MS so and so, Leonard Council for the Petitioner is allowed a week's time to receive further instructions listed accordingly. Okay. Lord Chief, uh, the interim order in the, uh, to the, uh, item number two may continue. See, that is the problem. Yes. New cause of action, you want to continue with the interim. That is the issue. See? The interim order passed in WPC 129 slash 2022 mm -hmm. shall continue till the next returnable date. Just think over because actually. For admission, item number four. Yes, Mr. Ma. Will this be the state has already filed the affidavit law, Chief? Okay. This matter may be listed for admission hearing. Okay. What is the matter about? This pertains to. This is item four. Item four, Lord. It is actually the Union of India. Yes, Lord. Yes, Mr. Yamarwati. Uh, 
Uh, which is the Five department? Which is the department, Mr. Yang Awati? Not East Frontier Railway. Oh, North Eastern Frontier Railway. Uh, that is five and six. Is it uh, Madam Sangtila? Sangtila? I'm told that her term has expired, Lord. I wish she was the standing council, Lord. Five and six. Five, six, and seven. No. Five, six, and seven. <coughs> Status filed. Status filed. Yes, ma'am. Even five, six, and seven has filed? No, Lord. They have not filed. Lord. They have not filed. They have not filed. Not filed, not filed Lord. In fact, then, Lord, uh, by this honorable court order, Lord, 19 to 2024. 19 to 2024, Lord. <clears throat> Nineteen two years twenty twenty four. Uh -huh. This honorable court has issued a specific order with regard to the railways lodge. Uh, but whether notice has been issued to the railways? Yes, lodge. Notice has been issued, lodge. And the fit is also fine, Lord. Does this service as well as the release post? Filed to that extent. Lord. And on the next returnable date, Lordship, that is the 18th of March, 2024. Um. By which order you were asked to take uh, steps? 19 to 2024. <coughs> and it fixed on 18 3 2024. On, on 18 to 3 2024, Lordship, a local council appeared and sought for time to file affidavit with Lordship. However, today their presence is not here, Lord. They have not shown their presence today, Lord. One, five, six, and seven. One, uh, one, oh, one also same. Yeah. One also same. One is the ministry. Ministry lodge. Railway. Yes. Are you appearing for one? I have accepted notice, but then uh, the railway, we have the also. No, whether uh, there's five, a ministry. Six seven, five, six, and seven will cover because all the jurisdiction is done to five, six, and seven. But are you appearing for one? If uh, the railway appoint uh, uh, a new their own council in five six and seven, then my presence may not be necessary. My presence may not be necessary. Because land was acquired by five six and seven, and compensation is also paid by five six and seven. What is your case? What you Enhancement? No logic for land compensation logic. You have paid. You have been paid. No logic. I'm seeking for land compensation. Lord. They have acquired, acquired your land. land for construction of railways. They have Lord. acquired. They have acquired. They have acquired. Yes, Lordship. And state has also, through the affidavit, admitted the fact, Lordship. They have gone to the record and filed an affidavit then stating in that. In that case, five, six, and seven will be necessary party exactly, because Lord. actually any yes. direction yes. will have to be borne by five, six, and seven. Yes, yes all Lord. the payment has to be to five, six, and seven. So what to do? What is the best way? We should yes. not just uh, like uh, close the service. On 18, in fact, Lord, if you Lord can appreciate it. 18 March 2024, a local council appeared on behalf of the 18 March. 18 March. 
the last occasion logic, 18, 18 March, 2024 logic. Logic. We give them one more chance. Logic. We record the, their Logic. absence and we give them one more chance. Logic. On 18-3-2024, when the matter was listed, MS Tuya Krulu, Leonard Council has submitted that Mr. S. Chetia, Leonard Central Government Council, has been recently engaged to represent the case of the respondent number 15. Six and seven. Stop. Today, when the matter is listed, none appears for the respondent number one, five, six, seven. This court accordingly grants three weeks time for the appearance of the Learned Central Government Council and also to enable the council to file the affidavit in opposition. Listed up the three weeks. Much All right, mission item number five. Please, my lord. Yes. Your lordship, uh, here the state has already filed a counter. Yes. Your lordship, but uh, I'm, at, I'm yet to file my reply, so your lordship, can you allow me to weeks? Okay. MS V. Terry, the learned counsel for the petitioner, is granted two weeks' time to file affidavit in reply to the affidavit in opposition filed by the state. <clears throat> For admission, item number six. Yes. Can you grant me a short date, logic to find my affidavit logic? Okay. We grant them a short date. Okay. MS S. Sapong Chang, the learned government advocate, is allowed two weeks time to file affidavit in opposition, listed accordingly. For admission, item number eight. Yes. I'm here to receive instructions from the PWT department, your lordship. So kindly grant me two weeks time, your lordship. Okay. MS Inahli, the Leonard Government Advocate, is granted three weeks time to file affidavit in opposition on behalf of the PWD department. Okay. For admission, item number nine. Is your lordship. Yes. Your lordship, I'm here to receive the paralyzed comments. So can you grant me three weeks time? Okay. MS EIME, the learned government advocate, is allowed three weeks time to file affidavit in opposition. Okay. All right, mission item number 10. May please, Your Lordship. Yes. Lordship, uh, this morning only I have received the counter filed by the state. So. State has filed counter? Yes, Your Lordship. That is not on record also. We filed it on Friday, on the 5th.
this only records that a counter affidavit has not been filed. The affidavit in opposition filed by the state he is not on record. Registry to trace the same and place on record. Mm -hmm. Mr. S. Tamjin, the learned counsel for the petitioner, is allowed two weeks' time. Lordship, three weeks' time. Three weeks' time to file affidavit in reply on the affidavit in opposition filed by the state. Lordship. Okay. For admission, item number 11. Thank you, Mr. Lordship. Yes. Lordship, may kindly grant me three weeks' time to file counter in this matter, Lordship. Okay, Tamjin. Lordship, Lordship. Mr. M.S. Inauli, the learned government advocate, is granted three weeks' time to file affidavit in opposition. Okay. For admission, item number 12. Lord Chief, kindly grant me three weeks' time to file my affidavit. Okay, Mr. Susko. M.S. A.I.M.E. The Leonard Government Advocate is granted three weeks' time to file affidavit in opposition. For admission, item number 13. Okay, Lordship, similar prayer here also. State is here to okay. That's right. okay. Let's first. For admission, item number 14. Mr. Yes, Mr. Pak, Pakin, 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 Yes. I'm praying for the assessment of the damage of my property. Uh, where I submitted my representation to the DCU to Nebuto. But till date, assessment has not been done uh, as I have posted in over court. So, if your uh, if your lordship may you please dispose of the matter with direction to the respondent, deputy commissioner to the Buto, to carry out assessment as to what extent the damage has been done. Yes, Mr. Moore, you have home? So, I'm representing the board as well as the NHRDC and lordship. Okay, okay, you know, sir. I've prepared my affidavit and I've sent it for approval, Lord Chief. Okay. And in my affidavit, I'm enclosing the amount that we have released to the Deputy Commissioner, Lord Chief. Oh, so wait for his affidavit. Huh? Because actually in the affidavit, they have actually specified uh, what amount has been released to the Deputy Commissioner. So it is only for a direction from this court to the Deputy Commissioner to release the amount to you. Yes, my lord. I'm not. I'm not sure whether I'm in the list of the. Uh, you see, you see his affidavit. I think uh, that will clarify. Lordship. You see the affidavit filed by the union, yes, NHIDCL. Okay. Yes, uh, what about the state? Lord Chief, still waiting for instruction. Waiting for instruction. But uh, if the affidavit filed by NHIDCL covers the petitioner. Lordship. Then in that case, I think affidavit may not be necessary for the state. It will only be a direction Lord. to disperse the amount. Lord. Correct? Lord. So let them file the affidavit. Okay. And let us uh, see the outcome. Yes. Mr. Mojamir. You have, uh, you have filed the affidavit. Most of all, we filed it. I have sent it for approval. Also. I'm here to receive it. Okay. 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 Mr. Mojamir submits that affidavit on behalf of the two respondent three number two three, and two, three, and four, four has been sent for waiting and therefore six for two weeks' time to file the affidavit in opposition. Prayer is allowed, listed after two weeks. For admission, item number 15. Yes, at least my lord. Huh? My lord, my senior is appearing in court number three. Ah. So, my lord, if this matter can be called up at two. Yes. Whether the affidavits, uh, pleadings are completed? Lordship. Pleadings are completed. I've okay. already filed my affidavit, Lordship. Okay, then we list it for admission hearing. It is submitted by the Learned Council for the Parties that pleadings are completed and therefore the matter can be taken up for hearing. Listed for admission hearing after two weeks. 
Okay. For admission. Item. item number 16. Your Lordship, on behalf of KM, may kindly let the matter come up after three weeks. He's yet to receive the instructions. Your Lordship, uh, I'm for the petitioner, Your Lordship. Mm -hmm. Lordship, uh, service of notice has already been completed. Your Lordship, uh, I've already served notice through Dusty Service. To, to whom? All the respondents, Your Lordship. And to this effect, I've already filed an affidavit on the last occasion, Your Lordship. Where is, uh, have you filed the affidavit? Yes, Your Lordship. Where is... Affidavit is three, four, three, four, four five, five, six. six. Three, four. By which order you were directed? Uh, to effect service of notice, by which order? Okay. Lordship order dated 13-02-2024. This 8-3-2024. 13 Lordship. There is a... Okay. Also see the order 8-3. 8-3-2024. Seeing the hard Mr. Swenso, the learned counsel for the petitioner. Seeing the order dated 8 3 2024, passed by this court. The notice upon the respondent number 3, 4, 5, and 6 is therefore deemed served. Roger, uh, yes, wait, is therefore deemed served. MS AIME, the learned government advocate for the state respondent number one and two, correct? One to four, Your Lordship. This is on behalf of K and Rami, Your Lordship. Had Dubashi also, you are accepting notice? Your Lordship, I've been told that one to four. Secretary Dubashi, customary court, you cannot. Mm -hmm. MS AIME. The learned government advocate makes a mention on behalf of Mr. K. I. Angami, the learned senior government advocate, and six a gentleman of the case on behalf of respondent number one and two to file affidavit in opposition. Prayer is allowed, listed after three weeks. Stop. The interim order passed earlier shall continue till the next returnable date. For hearing, item number 37. Yes, Mr. MT. Yes. Yes. Your Chief, my sneeze in this post today. If this matter may pass over for today. No pass over. Much better than me. Um, but you can be taken up on 15 because it's a short matter. What is the matter, Mr. MT? Junior dental surgeon. Junior dental surgeon. They are trying to circumvent the service rules. Yes, they, are, they have issued a notification that the method of recruitment is contrary to the provisions of the service rules. Oh. Short matter, Mama. And the recruitment is being held up because there's no stay as such. Huh. Only thing is that um, uh, they can make the recruitment. Only the notification has been stayed. 
The notification is contrary to you. You have impugned the notification, yes. and that notification has been stayed. Yes, my lord. The notification prescribes a method of recruitment okay. which is contrary to the service rules. Okay. So my case is that ex executive instruction cannot override right. the service rules. That is obvious. That is obvious. This is short matter. So if your, your lordship can take it up on fifteen, my lord, it is possible. Otherwise, fifteen. Fi oh, fifteen. Fifteen. As per your logic, or we, 16 also. We, yes, I think uh, sixteen will be a more auspicious day for you. <laughs> okay, we list it on sixteen, ma'am. Okay. okay. Ms. So and so submits that, Mr. N. Muzui, the leading counsel for the petitioner, is indisposed, and therefore seeks adjournment of the case. Where is allowed? Listed on 16 4 2024. Okay. Thanks, Lord Chief. Interim order. The interim order passed earlier shall continue till the next returnable date.